Okay, let's look at the apostrophe now. And that is the possessive form where you want to say something belongs to someone. You've probably used this many times. It's pretty straightforward. Remember the apostrophe looks like the kind of comma up in the air over there, over a letter. Here's an example. These are Antony's toys. So apostrophe S, no space before, no space after, right? means it belongs to Antony. Very easy to remember, I think. Here's some easy examples. Jane's mother will come tomorrow. So the mother belongs to Jane. No space before, no space after the apostrophe up there. I want to read Bill's book. So the book belongs to Bill. That is only one's opinion. So this opinion belongs to someone. Who does it belong to? We don't really know. The pronoun is not clear about who that is, but it's somebody, okay? So you can still use an apostrophe that way. I drove somebody else's car here. So the car belongs to somebody else. Okay, now the only exception to these cases is where you have multiple people. So you may say something like students. The books belong to the students, right? So we could change that around to say, these are the students' books, right? So the books belong to the students, and because students is plural, you put the apostrophe after the S. Sometimes that can get a little bit confusing, but uh, try your best. When it's just one person, it's easy. When it's multiple people, put it after the S. Good luck.